The manufacturer purchases stainless steel tubes in a range of lengths, diameters, and thicknesses. Workers select the right starting size for the specific tube the customer has ordered. They insert one end of each tube into this rotary swedger. It shapes the end to a point to enable it to fit through a die with a smaller diameter. Workers spread lubricant onto a steel bar, insert it into the other end of the tube, then insert the pointed end through a draw die. This carriage then grabs the protruding point and draws the full length of the tube through the die and over the steel bar. The die reduces the tube to a smaller outside diameter, while the bar sets the desired inside diameter. The tube walls thin out and the tube elongates in the process. Finally, workers saw the point off the tube. They place several tubes at a time in a decreasing unit, which uses a cleaning solution to remove all traces of lubricant the tubes picked up during the draw process. Workers then transfer the tubes to drying tanks, positioning them at a slight downward angle. As air blows through the tubes for about a half hour, all of the cleaning solution either drains or evaporates. To further clean the inside of the tubes, workers insert a felt wad into each one, then squirt in some cleaning solvent. They shoot in compressed air to force the wad down the tube. As the wad travels the length of the tube, it wipes the inside wall with the cleaning solvent. Next, workers strap the tubes to a belt that takes them on a 30-minute trip through a furnace. The temperature inside is more than 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. This intense heat softens the steel, which had hardened as a result of having been pulled through the draw die earlier. This process is called annealing, and it slightly warps the tubes. So next, they pass through a straightening machine. Then the entire cycle repeats until it's reduced to precisely the diameter and wall thickness the customer ordered. 